Hey, how's it going, Walking Dead fans? Hope y'all having a good one. San Diego Comic Con has arrived, and it did not disappoint the Walking Dead fans. We got the Rick and Michonne teaser, and it appears they have an official name for it now, titled The Ones Who Live. We also got an official trailer for Dale Dixon, and actually some pretty other cool info as well that I'm going to put into a separate video. So let's begin with the breakdown of the teaser, starting off with the red AMC, AMC Plus logos. Then we get Michonne in all red background. She's got a trusty sword with her. And she says, I've been out there a long time. Then we cut to another shot of Michonne. She's in the woods somewhere, and uh, you know, you can look. She's got tears in her eyes. Could this be, you know, when she finds Rick? Possibly, but uh, then again, you know, it could just be something completely different. We get another shot of Michonne with uh, what could be. What, uh, we get a shot of Michonne with her flashlight. And uh, she's in some kind of tunnel or hallway, by the looks of it. It cuts back to Red, and uh, Michonne, Michonne says, uh, I lost someone years ago. Referring to uh, Rick, of course. Now, this must be the same shot we saw in the uh, the Walking Dead main show finale. You know, where Michonne, she's in her armor there, and uh, she's riding the horse. And uh, she's heading towards uh, what looks to be um, a bunch of walkers. Then we get a shot of uh, what you know, what must be uh, CRM soldiers. You can tell by the weapons. You know they got the tips on the end to uh, kill the walkers, and uh, you know they're in all black as well. We got an explosion going on in the back there. You know what's this Rick's doing? You know more than likely probably. We cut to a shot of a walker. You know you got to show at least one walker in the teaser. It is the Walking Dead after all. And finally, the man of the hour, Rick Grimes. We finally see him, and right off the bat, you know, the man's already taking care of business. We see him, you know, he's got blood all over his face. And, uh, you know, I'm actually thinking he's uh, he's at one of the calling facilities. You know, we saw him World Beyond. He's got the same jacket as Silas, you know, did when he was there. And, uh, you know, the guy behind him as well. You can see he's got the same type of jacket as well. So, yeah, you know, uh, you know, was... Is this what uh, Rick's been doing the whole time, you know, since he left in the helicopter with Jadis? Has he, you know, just been working at one of these facilities? You know, I'm not sure. Was he working with CRM at some point? And, you know, maybe just realized they were bad and then something happened there? Uh, or has he, you know, just basically, you know, been a prisoner this whole time? I guess, uh, you know, we shall see when the uh, show comes out. We get another shot of Rick, uh, he's got an axe here, and by the looks of it, you know, he's killing someone with it. I heard someone say online, you know, it could be him chopping off his arm, you know, kind of similar to the comics, but, uh, I don't think that's what's happening here. It could be, though, I could be wrong. You never know. Another shot of Rick, uh, at night here, you can see there's lights far away in the distance, maybe, uh, you know, the CRM soldiers are looking for him or something like that, maybe. Uh, as he, you know, turns and nods at someone, uh, this could possibly be, you know, the shot right after he actually kills the guy with the axe, maybe, you know, that we saw from the shot before. I don't know about you guys, but, uh, you know, what little shots we did get of Rick, I really thought, you know, you know, they did a good job of, you know, capturing his, uh, you know, Rickness, I guess, you know, for lack of a, a better word. Scott, uh, Scott Gimple also said that, you know, we would be seeing the return of Red Machete Rick as well back in this series, and, uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think the, uh, the few shots that we did get of Rick, you know, really just did encapsulate, you know, really did a good job of, uh, encapsulating him, I think, you know, if I must, uh, use such a big word. And we also, you know, we have, uh, Michonne's voice playing in the background as well, saying, you know, saying, I found out that he's alive. Then we cut to uh, the title screen, The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. So does the title give it away? You know, will Rick survive in the end? Does this go on for more seasons? Uh, I don't know. We know from what they told us, this is supposed to be a limited series. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know how you can tell, you know, the rest of the story in a great compelling way with, you know, only six episodes. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I know, you know, I'm, I know I'm really pumped to, uh, you know, see Rick Grimes return finally. And, you know, only six episodes or not, I know this is going to turn out to be an amazing show. You know, something to remember. And come on, it's the return of Ricky Dicky Doodah Grimes. Going back to his old machete ways. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be awesome. No matter what, it's going to be awesome.
since the last shot. Uh, it says coming 2024. Now, where we got this teaser in late July, I would assume that the show would probably come out early. You know, really early 2024. It was supposed to come out in 2023. But, uh, hey, you know, maybe we could even get it as early as January, maybe. Who knows? Start the year off with the uh, turn of it Grimes. You know, that sounds pretty good to me. But anyways, that's my breakdown for the Ones Who Live teaser. And that'll do it for me in this video. Stay tuned for more Walking Dead news. Have a great day. Peace.